someone will hold up a gallon of milk and they'll say, put it on my slip and walk out the door. And then there'll be someone from out of state in the store and they're observing this transaction. And they're like, what just happened? I'm like, oh, he's going to come back and pay me later. And they're like, what? That would never work where I come from. <laughs> It does feel like there is like a secret recipe that this town is cultivated. I bought the store in 1991 and I was 26 years old. My mom always says that she was in labor with me and still signing paperwork to buy the store. My children know no other life. I got up in the morning and um, bundled them up, brought them to the store. We had a little room in the back. Um, they took their naps back there. The store always came first. I recently asked them if they would do anything different about their childhood and um, if they wish I didn't have the store. And, and both of them said, hands down, it was great. Growing up here was the biggest biggest blessing my parents could ever bestow on me. People want to live in a place with a sense of community. A sense of community gives people a purpose to be kind to other people, to be thoughtful, to be respectful. If we didn't have this store, it would be very difficult for all of us as far as finding that common ground that we could all meet. We 100% need this store in Lincoln. I'm very, very grateful for everything. Yeah. <laughs> the, the opportunities we were given, the people we met, um, but I, I would have loved to know my mom a little bit more. Like, I, I have to be here. We were on a family vacation in Lake George. Mom and Dad had woke us up and said, um, Lincoln's, you know, having some flooding and we need to go back. They just loaded us up in the middle of the night, dropped us off at our grandparents. And we were there for two weeks while Mom and Dad were off saving the town. So people can get their supplies, can get supplies, get food. Mom was just doing what she could to make sure everyone was taken care of. Dad was checking in on people because we hadn't seen them or their house may have gotten flooded. We've got the only female mayor in the whole state. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the mayor of Lincoln right here. Yeah, I think it was on the pulse of the town. Yeah. Absolutely. I've seen my mom help people leave abusive relationships given safe haven to people. Giving up her car for people that didn't really have access to a car. She really just made herself accessible to everybody. I don't think it could be underplayed what a local store can be for a town, especially a, a rural town like this one. I feel very welcome when I come into the store. Lincoln wouldn't be the same without it. The general store showed my kids that Lincoln has heart. We, we lived in Underhill for 20 years, and um, we had a general store there, um, and unfortunately that store closed. Venisa and the general store here in Lincoln were their major selling point for us. She just made everyone feel welcome, whether they had a million dollars or two dollars. Get to know the people before you make a judgment. Learn from everyone. You're gonna find all this really great, rich stuff in everyone's life. I noticed my legs were getting weaker, and I noticed that I was having trouble getting up onto the porch last summer. And, um, 
and I was just getting so tired. I know when I went to the doctor, I, I said, I can't stand for more than seven or eight hours. And they were like, what? <laughs> Most people cannot. <laughs> so during COVID, she was working seven days a week, at least 12 hour shifts. It took practically an intervention to get her to be like, so you don't have any help and this is not sustainable. Your body is actively screaming at you to stop or slow down. Mm -hmm. And she took two days off. You know, they scanned my legs and found something they can't explain. When you go into the general store, which has kind of become the, the, the de facto gathering place where everybody's welcome. I need this store, my family needs this store, the community needs this store, the school needs this store. You see towns like, like South Brown, who are attempting to create a town center, right? So they invest a massive amount of taxpayer dollars and other things trying to create that sense of community, which we have since the 1800s here in a general store. And it would be really, I think, naive to just let it fade away. How would you feel if this store closed and what, what kind of impact would it have on the town? Well, I think it would suck. It would um, be really sad. The community came together in this Lincoln Community Trust, but there were some pieces of the puzzle that were missing. And we did not want to get in front of the trust. But when the trust came to us and said, hey, uh, if you guys are willing to do this, let's do it. Somebody had to save the store and why shouldn't it be us? Came to Vanessa and Dan and said, uh, we're willing to do it on your terms. Dan said, thank you. Thank you for giving me some more time with my wife that she had previously been committing to give to the community. 32 years of memories is a lot. Love you, Vanessa. Vanessa. We couldn't have done this without you. You deserve this, Vanessa. It isn't just a place where you run in and grab some corn nuts and a Diet Coke and roll on out of there. Like, it's a place where you really, um, people seek out connection or information. It's been an honor to, to have them have let me in their lives. And I don't know how to say how much them allowing me to be part of their family means to me, but it does. Your ability to allow each of us to feel heard, held, and seen is a gift that we will always carry with us. If this store went away, the town wouldn't be the same at all. It wouldn't, there wouldn't be a gathering place for people. Um, I think it would be very different. I haven't had a chance to speak publicly about this, like how much I appreciate you guys rallying around your small community store. If, if people all recognize that, that with Venisa moving away from the store, it's a new chapter of the store. And the, chap the store has had multiple chapters in the last 150 years. And, and it's up to us as a community to make sure this chapter is written right. Oh my gosh, the memories that I've gotten through my little book of Lincoln General Store. I have had a good life. There's no regrets. In 1930, we delivered our first gallon of milk. Almost 100 years later, we owe our existence to the community stores throughout Vermont. Take the time, go in your own general store. Pick one thing your family may buy every week and say, I'm gonna buy that at my local general store because it does make a difference. Keep them, encourage them, is part of the soul of the state. See all eight episodes presented by Monument Farms, monumentfarms.com.